Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with an eight box break of 2023 Bowman Draft Baseball. Jumbo edition, pick your team number seven, all card ship. And big thanks to this group for making it happen on a Sunday. Thanks everybody here. Uh, if you have Blaster 5 next to your name, that means you won those teams in that Blaster box break. Tristan, you got Last Spot Mojo with the Pirates. There's everybody right there. Thank you. All right, now let's pop over this jumbo case. Boxes. Kind of organize these a little bit here. A few boxes up there. A couple boxes right here. There's all of our eight boxes, three autos a box. Good luck. Let's see what we got out of here. Got the sounds of Sunday Night Football in the background. Beginning of the second half and Baltimore is up 10, nothing. Jaguars. Not looking good. I think they uh, they missed a couple field goals. And they had a red zone turnover. After getting a turnover, after picking off Lamar Jackson, I think they drove drove it to the red zone, and I think they I think Trevor Lawrence like fumbled it or something like that. See if the Jaguars will clean things up a little bit in the second half. Try to make a game out of it. <clears throat> All right. And away we go. Good luck, everybody. I think by now you know some of the uh, you know the key players that we're searching for, like a Matt Shaw for the Cubs. All of those will go to Greg. Like Wyatt Langford for the Rangers. All of those will go to will go to Charlie. All card ship, of course. These sky blue parallels, not numbered. Those green lunars, not numbered. That's a start for the Jaguars. Well, the defense is doing all right tonight. The offense just has to click. Jacob Wilson, another another key guy here. Adam with the A's won the A's in the uh, the filler, which is nice. And Jake Cunningham. This Cunningham will go to Neil and the Orioles. Nice gold parallel as well. Fourteen out of fifty. Love seeing that gold. JJ, what am I doing for Christmas this year? I will be visiting my, my parents retired to, to Las Vegas a couple years ago, so that's now my holiday destination, which is which is not too bad. So I'll be going there for a number of days. I'm gonna take my traditional extended winter break, which which will uh, take me out of the 
shop through uh, through the new year and then some. There's Brock Roden, 35 out of 250, purple chrome. Mariners, that'll be for John. So yes, yeah, so I'll I'll be I'll be in the desert, and I think I'm visiting some friends in uh, Scottsdale for New Year's Eve. And then, and then that's that. Nothing too, nothing too crazy. What I would recommend doing, well, there's a lot to do in Vegas. A lot to do in Vegas, and it's not just, I mean, I like to gamble and, you know, go to the casino, so that's something I do. Maybe try to mix in a little, little golf here and there, but there's a great food scene in Las Vegas. Especially, I mean, there's some great stuff on this trip, but it's kind of overpriced. But there's like, you know, there's all kinds of good food all over the place in Vegas. So, it's always, and always something going on. You know, you can just, that's what's great about Vegas. And a lot of stuff open late and, you know, you want to just walk around, take a walk. That's fine too. If you want to go nuts, go to the clubs, go gambling. I mean, that's cool too. It's Brady House, so there's a lot to do. I think I like the, the options. They're pretty great. Uh, I think for the holidays, I generally, generally drive. Just because I feel like Airports can get kind of crazy, but other times I, I like on an off weekend I usually fly. I mean, really, like Gordon Ramsay, yeah, a place like that are okay. You know, especially if you want to splurge a little bit and do something nice. But there's also a lot of places off the strip that you can go that you can just you can just. You know, Google or Yelp and you'll find some great reviews and there's st stuff all over the place. The buffet scene, I feel like there's Ty Floyd that's going to go to uh, Cincinnati. It'll be for Tristan and the Reds. Um, the buffet scene, I feel like there's not as many buffets as there was before. I think a lot of casinos, a lot of resort casinos have turned um, buffets into more of a food hall type situation where there are, you know, a number of different kind of areas where you can get different kinds of, kinds of food all at once, but not like, <clears throat> not like chain restaurants or like chain, it's not like fast food. But the, I feel like there's kind of like that, but you can still find a, a good buffet tucked in here, here and there. Nice Wyatt Langford and a Max Clark as well. That's for Detroit. That's going to go to Mark. A Wyatt Langford, the sky blue parallel, not numbered, <clears throat> but still nice. But uh, I, th I, I think COVID kind of pushed it over the. I think they're already a model that maybe people weren't really into food-wise. But I think COVID then pushed it over, over and people were like, eh, now's a good excuse to like revamp our, our kind of food area. But a couple of places still have a good buffet. I think the Wind still has a pretty popular buffet that's there. Um, is it the Palm? I think the Palm's... Re Kind of redid their buffet recently, and it's pretty good now, too. I mean, I'm sure there's others around, but in terms of, like, I don't know. I wouldn't, I wouldn't try to go bargain hunting for a buffet. 
There's a Welbin Francisca, 77 out of 199. Yeah, I've not seen all the shows. Not really a Vegas show guy. Um, I did see uh, I did see the Beatles love at a Treasure Island Mirage Mirage. Uh, that was really cool. There's a Mike Bove blue to one fifty. Yeah, as a big Beatles fan, I think that was a uh, that was. A, uh, a show that was really enjoyable. All right, and I'll do an autograph recap at the end too. But no, haven't haven't done any of the other shows. Not that I'm opposed to it. I mean, I suppose they're they're, they're a little pricey, I guess, for for me. <clears throat> oh. There's ja the Jaguars on uh, the scoring a touchdown. Cleaning things up. And like, it's not necessarily, you know, the, the sticker price per se of a show. It's like, you know, would I rather spend that 70 on a show or... But I'd rather go to the sports book with that. But, like, you know, if I was, you know, if someone was just like, hey, here's tickets to go see a Cirque du Soleil show, you know, anywhere along the street, I'd be like, yeah, I'll go, you know. Um, no, not, not good at sports betting. I, oh, I guess, I guess I would say I'm good because, you know, I don't lose too much money, but I think, but, uh, you know, as long as I kind of stay evenish, it's fine. It's entertainment. It's an entertainment cost as opposed to a, I'm trying to make money sort of thing. Like even the, yeah, for football, it's so hard. I think the pros, I think you have to win at like, like close to a 60% clip from week to week before, you know. Before you would even think about becoming like a professional sports gambler. And even then, I don't think most pros aren't making their money off of off of the NFL because they have those there's generally have those lines dialed in. Here's another Ty Floyd Blue Wave autograph. It's for Cincinnati. That's going to be for Tristan starting your Ty Ford PC, whether you intended to or not. Let's build a rainbow. Fifty out of one hundred and fifty. Uh, Baseball, you can probably you can find a lot of profitability in baseball. I think that's where a lot of pros end up making money. Uh, college sports, I think a lot of pro, pro gamblers make a lot of money playing college basketball and college football. But that level, it's, it's, so, it's so crazy. I mean, a lot of the pros have like you know, these, a lot of math, a lot of mathematical stuff that I'm not terribly good at, but they'll have like power rankings and algorithms and then, you know, it's, it's like this whole, this whole thing, whole team of people and then there's Jake DeLeo and then you're, then you have to go around Vegas trying to find the, uh, you know, generally you have to find like different books and then you have to try to bet as much as possible, but Vegas does everything possible to not take as much money from sharps. They'd rather have squares bet instead. So then there's a lot of proxy betting, the runners, and this whole system, which is, which is really crazy. 
to actually be a pro. And then, you know, you're, you're, you're talking about betting like hundreds of thousands of dollars on a ton of games. There's a nice white line for glass. And so you got to be comfortable like losing, you know, potentially hundreds of thousands of dollars in one day just to win it back another day and then come out with a, with a small little net profit after that. There's Austin Trosser to 125. But I want to say a lot of the pros, you know, unless you're like an expert on a certain sport, I think a lot of people say, from what I just kind of casually see and read, like college sports, basketball and football, and then, and then baseball. There's Cole Schoenwetter to 199. For Cincinnati. It's Colt Emerson's will go to John and the Mariners. There's a great book that just came out this summer. Um, there's Landon Marutis. They, uh, I think by Billy Walter. Yeah, Billy Walters is a, put out a great book about, about his gambling life and career. You can kind of get an idea of what he has to, what he has to do. I had a, fr a friend who was a, uh, a, professional poker player um, and he was the same thing so you got to be okay losing twenty thousand dollars one week and winning twenty five thousand dollars the next week you got to just be be uh, used to the used to those swings um Breaking you know. uh, yeah, but intellectually challenging jobs also have a lot of stress. The, the smart play is to do something you love, something that's a lot more fun. Yeah, could I be a contract attorney? Could I work at a political think tank? Yeah, you could. Could I be a lawyer? Yeah, sure. Be in academia. It's Homer Bush. Purple Chrome to 250. Tristan with the Padres. Sure, I could. Would I be happy doing that? Probably not. Would be a lot more effort? Probably. You know, and I think, I think with the wide variety of things that we talk about during our group breaks and throughout the stream, you know, I feel like kind of keep me on my toes, so. Omar, what's up? What day are you in the shop this week? Oh, yeah. Uh, tomorrow. Open 11 to 6. I'm usually in a little bit before 3 o'clock Pacific. There's Thai Pete for Seattle. Uh, Tuesday, I think we're going to be closed. At least, well, I don't know. Maybe the shop itself might be open, but I don't think we're breaking on Tuesday because our, our holiday party... Um, is uh is on Tuesday, so we're having a holiday party. But Wednesday, Thursday, so Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, I'll be around. 
And then this Friday, which is kind of crazy that it's almost Christmas already, this Friday will be the start of a uh, an almost, almost two-week vacation for me. Although I think I managed to maximize my days because most of those days will actually be either my proper weekend or a paid holiday. So, actually. So yeah, I'll be gone for a little bit, as I traditionally do during my winter break, and then uh, I'll be recharged and ready to ready to get things get things going here in 2024. Almost end of the year already. It's pretty crazy. That Homer Bush that went to Tristan and the Padres. I feel like he's. I feel like someone was saying he's like a. You know, one of the bigger names for the Padres to chase. All right. Nice. Yeah, from Dana Point's a little little bit of a hike, but but yeah, I'm in, I'm usually on Monday, Wednesday, Thursday. I'll be in at around three o'clock Pacific. Yeah, it's all, all always nice to put uh, always nice to put names to faces. <laughs> Yesterday, I was at a uh, a brewery in Torrance celebrating some friends' birthdays, um, and at this uh, this brewery that I was at in Torrance is Charlie Soto. You know, I was saying hi to some friends. I just got there, and I was in line to get a beer. It's Charlie Soto, 91 out of 199. Aqua Lava. Twins, Mark. And someone's like, Joe? And I was like, and I was like, yeah? And it was like someone that I did not recognize. And he's just like, it's me, Gamsby. And I was like, oh, Ryan. So it's like one of our, our regulars in our group breaks who's local. Who well, I guess I, I don't think I ever had ran into him when he's whenever he's picking up stuff at the shop, but but yeah, ran got got recognized in the wild. He was Jonathan Mejia to four ninety nine paper, so I was like, that's pretty cool. Good, always good to see, you know, put the put the faces to names. But got to chat for a couple moments, and it was it's pretty cool. Colson Montgomery, purple chrome to 250. Michael, he bought you a beer, right? No, he did not. No need to. No need to. He's purchased uh, enough breaks. <laughs> where uh, he's, he's hit some. But he's also donated some as well. I think that's enough for me. I didn't. I didn't need a beer. There's Matt Shaw, Greg and the Cubs. You have a Joe Jaspi one of one. These are rare. Drew Gilbert to 125, Aqua Wave, 15 out of 125. Mets, that'll be for Mark B.
There's Rainer Arias, 25 out of 499. Some paper for the Giants. That'll be for EA. Paul Skeen's going to go to the Pirates. Cole Emerson, once again, all of these will go to John and the Mariners. If I miss any, don't worry. Our sorting and shipping team know the same list of players. Hey, here's a Brock Roden. That is for John and Seattle. I'll take care of any ones I miss. Oh, Jaguars got the ball back. Third and eight. Oh, you got to... Nope. You got to give up the ball. Is that a sack? Is that a safety? Trevor Lawrence, you have to get rid of that. I think he did get the ball out. Is this job still stressful? I don't think it was. I don't think it was ever really stressful. I mean, I'm just opening up baseball cards and talking to you guys. There's Garrett Forrester. Tristan with the Pirates. Doing you know brain surgery or anything like that. And we got Emmett Olson, seventy out of ninety nine for the fish. It's going to be for Simon. Another box. Let's take a let's let's whip around the league today. Any uh are there any games that stood out to you, ladies and gentlemen, that were especially entertaining? Obviously, Thursday was entertaining for me. My Raiders putting up 63 points on their division rival Chargers. So the week started out really nice for me. I don't have to worry about the rest of the weekend, the NFL rest of the weekend. Saturday games. I, I like the Saturday games. They split them up all into different times, which is what I wish they would do when they have a Monday night doubleheader. But, yeah, Brandon, I mean, I, I think that Brandon Staley firing was going to happen anyway. We just expedited it. But that, that was inevitable. Uh, the Vikings Bengals game was exciting. Bengals scoring 21 points in the fourth quarter to tie up the game. And then there was a big catch by Tyler Boyd. Sets up a, a game-winning field goal. I don't know what, what year Jake Browning cards are in. I think he's, he was undrafted too, right? So I'll dust off those cards.
All right, next box. Uh, and Colts ended up being the Steelers, 30-13. to 13. Gardner Minshew with three touchdown passes. And then the Lions smoked the Broncos, 42-17. to 17. Tam Laporte had three touchdowns. Yeah, Aiden O'Connell had looked really good. Now, if my Raiders can do that, you know, a few more times this season, not score 63 points, but, you know, put out a competent offense in the next few uh, games, there could be a very outside shot that they might sneak into a wild card spot, which would be fun. Colton Ledbetter for the Tampa Bay Rays. Coppola, that one, 379 out of 499. Rays refractor autograph. Nice mood ring. Is that Max Clark? It is. Nice. These are short prints. You usually only see one or two of these per case. Tigers. It's going to be for Mark. Ooh, that's a sack. No. Wow, he caught it? What a catch by Isaiah Likely. Lamar Jackson escapes from what should have been a sack, throws it, throws it on his like back foot as he was getting hit into traffic. There were like two Jaguars players around Isaiah Likely. Isaiah Likely just leaps up and grabs it. Now it's first and goal. And there's Homer Bush, 11 out of 99, green paper for the Padres, Tristan. There's Max Clark. You like O'Connor who didn't marry a hot one. I like Brady and Rowan just married for character, are you sure? I mean, if he starts getting starting quarterback money. I don't even know who's married. Here's a Max Clark glass for Mark in Detroit. And there's Luke Schilger. Schleiger? I'm putting the I in the wrong place. That's going to go to EA and the Giants.
And there is CJ Kafis for Cleveland. That's for Tristan and the Guardians. Cleveland, this is for you. with a touchdown. Five plays, 58 yards. A couple minutes off the board. They're up. Well, they're going to be 17-7 pending the extra point. We got a Jake DeLeo grass parallel. 20 out of 99. I feel like you don't see these grass parallels too often. It's going to be for Miami. Simon. We are officially halfway through the break. Thanks, everyone. We got a, we got a shot at doing another one of these tonight. Because the Pick Your Team 8, so this is Pick Your Team 7. Pick Your Team 8 I put into a filler. And if we sell that out, you know, in a, you know with a, basically an hour or so before the show is over, an hour and a half before the show is over, then we can do another jumbo break. Or at least get one close to, to filling towards the beginning of tomorrow. So that link is in the chat. Team 10 keeps looking weird. open here. Hey, no worries, JJ. Have a good night. Thanks for uh, checking in. So I have a little financial interest in the uh, Jaguars at plus three. Let's see if they could bring this... I don't need him to win. Just, just need him to... Lose by three to, to, to push, lose by two. Two missed field goals were pretty brutal. I mean, that, that could have been, what, if they had six more points, it would be 17-13. Maybe they'd even be ahead by a little bit. If they had, uh, if Trevor Lawrence hadn't fumbled it at the, uh, in the red zone. So just some sloppy play by the Jaguars. That's gonna be, might be their undoing in mine. Fourth and two. Gonna have, have to go for it?
Kiefer Lord, 002 to 125. Orioles, that'll be for Neil. There's Luis Guanipa, 54 out of 4.99 for the Braves. Scott with the Bravos. And we got a Zach Thornton. And that will be for the Mets. That's going to be for Mark in the Mets. Picked up the Mets straight up. Double out of 199, Cole Young. Mariners, that's going to be for John. Jacob Wilson's all going to Adam, who won the A's in the, uh, in the filler, which is nice. Brandon Winokur, 69, nice, out of 99 for the Twins. That's going to go to Mark. Matt Shaw's are going to Greg and the Cubbies. And we've got Grant Taylor. Put these guys together, you, you would get a you get a Grant Thornton. Just like the uh, bank. Is Grant Thorne a bank? It's an audit tax and advisory service. They, they sponsored a golf tournament a couple weeks ago. Looks pretty fun to watch. Uh, should be one more autograph in here somewhere. And there he is. That's Devin Saltadon. Speckle autograph. That should be to 71, I think. Yeah, I'll show you in a second here. Uh, that's going to be for Charles. Picked up the Phillies straight up. 51 out of 71. I haven't seen an auto yet of any of these key guys. Would love to 
I'd love to see that happen. There's Candon Minacci, 52 out of 179. For the Angels, that'll be for Tristan, one of the Angels in the filler. Blake Mitchell Glass. That's for the Royals. That will be for David H. And we got some gold. Jason Woodward and Bernstein. 22 out of 50. That'll be for the Brewers. That's going to go to Scott. All right, another box. What else happened in the NFL? So we talked about the Saturday games. Cowboys, what's... Uh, they just feel like Cowboys struggle a bit on the road. And of course, the Bills want to stay in that playoff hunt. They're now, it looks like they're now eight and six. They beat the Cowboys 31 to 10. In Arizona, no problem for the Niners. They beat the Cardinals 45 to 29. I guess with the Cowboys loss and a and a and a big win, you know, big kind of blowout win for the uh, for the Niners. You know, is that a uh, has has Brock Purdy improved his his MVP candidacy? I think he's at least corner Vegas. He's one of the betting favorites. He went 16 for 25, 242 yards, four touchdowns. No interceptions. McCaffrey got two of those touchdowns. Debo got two of those touchdowns. I think Sam Darnold even got got to throw uh, got to throw a few plays there. This, this one ended up being a little bit closer than the Rams would have liked, but the Rams ended up being the Commanders 28 to 20. But uh, Commanders with 13 points in the fourth quarter to the Rams eight. Making the Rams a little nervous, but they, they ended up winning anyway. Pa Panthers, Falcons, kind of an ugly game here. Panthers nine, Falcons seven. Desmond Ritter, is he the answer out there in Atlanta? Saints beat the Giants 24-6. The, uh, the legend of Tommy DeVito kind of taking a little hit. We'll take a look at the rest of the games after this box. All right. A few boxes to go. Good luck, everybody. Thanks, everyone, for getting in. We can squeeze in another one of these jumbo breaks tonight. We just got to knock out that filler, which is actually a little less expensive than the filler... Uh, for this particular break. There's Luis Guanipa to four ninety nine. The Braves for Scott. This might be the dagger for for Jackson if the Ravens score. Uh, 
Braden Taylor to 499. 493 out of 499. Rays, it's for I Coppola. A gold Ariel Castro, nice. 62 out of, or yellow to 75. That's for Mark and the Twins. Here's another Colt Emerson, Wyatt Langford. Matt Shaw, Jacob Wilson. And there's a Mac Horvath, purple chrome autograph for Neil and the Orioles. Neil picking up the O's straight up. 233 out of 250. Rex has seen rumors. Where? Have you seen these rumors? Bears could move on from Justin Fields and draft the QB from Michigan. J.J. McCarthy, I think, is his name. It's Jace to 199, Purple Lunar for Toronto. That's going to be for Robert, won that team in the Philly. are able to hold him to a field goal. It still keeps, keeps things a little spicy. Eight minutes left in the game. Justin Tucker has never missed a field goal from under 30 yards. Is this the broadcast curse? Drills it. And we got a Jace Boffrin. That is for Toronto, Robert. The Athletic and Chicago Tribune, got it. All right, so it's not just some rando on Twitter. I suppose, I mean, I think the, there's a new... This coaching staff didn't draft Justin Fields, right? Maybe they did. Blake Mitchell for the Royals, glass. That's for David H. and the Royals. There's Weldon Francisca to 250. And did we only have two autos in that box? 
That was from the previous box, right? I don't think I missed an auto. Sometimes that happens. I don't think I missed one. They're pretty obvious. I think we just got short in an auto. We just got short and auto. All right, that happens. Next box. Next box. So Baltimore's up 20 to 7. Eight minutes left. Jaguars like need a touchdown here. They want to you know, make old Joe happy and try to get another stop. Yeah, I mean, if you're the Bears and if you do want to move on from Justin Fields, hey, I mean, I feel like they just have to start moving on from, from everybody and just kind of reset, start from scratch, move some assets that can get you draft picks and make that rebuild as quick as possible. I mean, I guess there's, I feel like there's rumors about Harbaugh every year, right? But I just don't think he'll... I don't think he'll leave college. I feel like the NFL will always be used as leverage against the university, but in the pro game, the pro game, you, know, you, you lose a lot of the control that you're used to in college. And um, you know, in college, you're just dealing with kids. You know, but there's a whole different set of generations and players who are on a on a football team. Is Joe Whitman? Ah. That's it for the Jaguars. It's Jackson Merrill, nice. 48 out of 50 for the Padres, Tristan.
There's some Johnny Farmello glass. It's for Seattle. That's going to go to John. And here's Landon Marotis, Lunar, to 125. Jacob Wilson, Paper, Toronto, that's Robert. And the A's, Adam with the A's. I haven't seen any of those big name autos yet. Here's Carlson Reed at 199. Skeens. Future future teammates here. Both for the Pirates, both for Tristan. And there's Cooper Ingle for the Guardians. That's Tristan with the Guardians. Won that in the filler. Cleveland, this is for you. And there's the third auto of the box. That's Jay Bashir's Blue Wave autograph going to Tristan and the Padres. Tristan getting the Friars straight up. 113 out of 150. All right, final box coming up. Left off. We left off with yeah, Panthers beating the Falcons by two, nine to seven. Saints beat the Giants twenty four to six. Chiefs uh, I think kind of cruised with against the Patriots twenty seven to seventeen. Dolphins shutting out the uh, Jets thirty to nothing. No Tyree Hill, no problem for that Dolphins offense. Is Robert Sala on the uh, hot seat? That seat getting warmer. I think there are some some post game reports, write ups that are suggesting that a lot of frustration on the team. Some quotes from the locker room. A lot of frustrated players. 
Is Salah losing the locker room? Or is he safe because Aaron Rodgers says so? You don't want you don't want him you don't want the team giving up on the coach though. It's something that's difficult to come back from. In overtime, Texans beat the Titans. Titans were wearing the old Oilers jerseys. This is kind of a slam. I mean, it's their Titans home game, but it's kind of a slap in the face of the Texans. Kind of, right? Remember, the, remember, remember when we were the Oilers? Sort of weird. But they win in uh, Titans, or Texans get the last laugh. They win in overtime on the road, walk off. Walk off field goal? On a field goal. All right, last box coming up. Packers fell to the Buccaneers. Baker Mayfield had four touchdowns today. Buccaneers beat the Packers 34 to 20. Browns beat the Bears 20 to 17. Browns going 13 points to the Bears zero in the fourth quarter. And that was the difference there. And then Jaguars are trying to get some garbage time points here. Is Jack Hurley to 499? Scott with Arizona. Chris Conzer was trying to trying to tell the audience, hey, this game's on over, but they gotta, I mean, they wanna still say anything, they gotta score and score like now. A couple big plays here. Garrett Forrester, purple chrome autograph for Tristan and the Pirates. Last spot mojo. 147 out of We got uh, Michael Carrico, 42 out of 50 for the Cubs. That will be for Greg. Here's a Dylan Head. Glass for the Padres, Tristan. Ooh. That was the big play they needed, but they missed it. Brady Smith to 125, Lunar for the Dodgers. That'll be for Adam. We got a Johnny Formello. Seattle Mariners, John picked up Seattle straight up.
We got Jay Bashirs to 199 for Tristan and the Padres. Alfredo Duno, these are not numbered. All cards ship. And there's our final autograph, Nolan McClain. That will be Nolan McClain, that is. That's going to go to Mark and the Mets. Got a blue chrome Nelson Rada, 006 out of 150 for the Angels. And that is for Tristan, and that is the break. We've got a Matt Shaw, got some paper, Matt Shaw, Jacob Wilson, and Wyatt Langford. And here is your recap. There's that mood ring. Some nice color in the auto there. The Homer Bush Jr. And the Jake Cunningham right there. There you go, gang. That was a 2023 Bowman Draft Baseball 8-box jumbo. Pick your team number 7 from jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.